Okay, so for this video, you're gonna see a little issue that we faced with the new baby. We have a video monitor and there was no decent place to stand it. And when we put it on the cot, it kept kicking it off. So there was two little screw holes in the bottom of it that you could kind of use to secure it. Um, didn't want to put screws into the, the, the sleeper. Um, so wanted to use this as an opportunity to do a little 3D project. So just first thing we do is plan drew a little picture took some measurements here so yeah it just had to be simple have some way of securing onto the sleeper and then fitting into the two holes there on the monitor itself so um yeah uh, you'll see now here in a second this is tinkercad so i had messed around with a couple of different designs trying to incorporate the kind of two um the two uh, kind of secure and sleeper holes uh, on um, on a piece that also had a kind of frame to secure to the to the sleeper itself but you know that that was fairly awkward if you, if you thought about the logistics of the print and um, so you see a little bit later I, I tried to come up with ways of separating the two parts and then having them kind of clip or fit together but again you will see I just ended up super gluing two pieces together much much easier sometimes the, the easier solution is um is is the, is the best one to go with uh yeah instead of making things a bit too complex so i made a big circle and you know the two uh the two kind of sleeper nuts i don't know i'm not sure what you call them with kind of beveled edges so they'd fit in and slide up and kind of slide into place I cut most of the circle off because it would have just been a waste of plastic to, to print it with it on. Um, here you see kind of a little kind of secure piece that I was going to use to, to kind of clip the two separate prints together. Um, and you'll see I'll quickly kind of, you know, back out of that, uh, that idea. Um, I also had to, to widen it as well, so give a little bit more space on the on the, the 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 main piece because it wouldn't actually fit from one side of the of the cut that it was clipping onto to the other. So I'm still messing around with it there with that clip, but again, you'll see there's you know very often a much simpler solution to uh, to, to most of the problems that we, we face, whether it's uh, in 3D printing projects or in life in general. So yeah, so for the piece that I just connected the cut, just a simple box and then cut out, the, make it adequately wide and then cut out that piece. Again, that won't print very well there, so flip it 180 degrees and there it is in Curry. Four hours and four minutes is how long this print is gonna take, so I'll have a bit of footage of the print here now. So again, I don't have four hours of footage. This is probably about, oh, I don't know. 2000% its original speed so uh, it's probably about 15 20 minutes probably a bit longer um, of a recording here so that's the print finished up there so I popped them off or at least I attempt to pop them off um, this piece came off grand. I struggled for a while with this next piece. <laughs> so I have to let it kill down. And once you let it kill down, it pops off the build plate fairly easily. I glued them together. And then once I done that, you can see the kind of finished. This is more of a prototype and um, just to see if the, the, the design would work. And yeah, it did. The, the prongs or the kind of sleeper holes or whatever you want to call them they were a bit too wide so it didn't slot in perfectly um, it did sit on the the sleeper nicely however a few little smacks and it come off so I decided to, to readjust it so I made I made it a bit taller I made it a bit thinner so it'd be tighter and I put these kind of beveled edges on the sides to kind of just let it pinch the, the side of the cut um, bit better i brought the two prongs or the two sleeper holes or whatever again i don't know what to call them and um, i brought them in about a millimeter each and uh and i made the bevel piece a bit longer so it would secure in um, in the bottom of the monitor a bit more a bit tighter there's the print on it only took about five hours so about an extra hour to do that extra piece 
Um, yeah, so it printed fairly nicely. No supports needed. Just printed overnight. So first I tested with slotting it into the base of the monitor and it went in really nicely. Clipped in perfectly and is nice and secure. Next thing I want to do is test that the, the piece going onto the sleeper fit nicely and it did. And you can see a little calm there. Look at him, isn't he gorgeous? So try to do the in there and he gives us a nice little present here now in a second if you listen closely. <laughs> All good. So yeah, like I said, instead of having some complex design of you know having connectors or clips and stuff like that. But the super glue will do the job and maybe on a later print if i ever need to change it i can uh, i can try to come up with something else i both love and hate getting uh super glue stuck on my finger it's nice to pick off but there's something that makes me a bit uneasy about it now what, you, what i found is that it wouldn't actually stand up like that but that didn't really matter and you'll have to forgive the shakes i am i'm a shaker so there i am my lovely dressing gown Clips on nicely there, holds on nice and tight. <laughs> Decide to wake up and have a little have a little look at what I'm doing. So any eagle eye viewer there will notice that I actually changed the position of the of the camera to get a better view of Cameron. <laughs> and there he is, worked an absolute charm and I absolutely love 3D printing. It's a great way to uh, to come up with little solutions to little problems just takes a bit of thought and a bit of creativity and again took no more than 15 minutes to do the design however long to, to print the design and then um, a few minutes to put it together so uh hope you enjoyed the video and um, hopefully i'll get another one done soon enough i have all sorts of plans as you might know if you look at any of my other videos i plan for all sorts and i do very few of them <laughs> uh, but i've plenty of time now that i have some time off to spend with my little man new bundle of joy so uh yeah hope you enjoyed the video and uh, i'll do another one soon take care love you loads